Thanks. <laughs> like you're a good salesman. <laughs> well, you were making a joke, but you were on point. I was a salesman back in the days. No, yeah, I mean, I was, I was kind. I was like you. You know, you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am. Uh, okay, guys, let's watch the video. This was something, um, something cool, and I wanted to share it with you. Let's watch, and I'm gonna comment because I was uh, doing it in silence. So you see the inside of a rocket. Uh, it's it's made from probably some uh, light materials. They they must not be heavy to fly so far. You see the one with wings on it drone wings it's beautiful some beautiful paintings i didn't get uh you know to stand uh, near each one for long because it would have the video would have uh, been like an hour long if we don't have that much time but this amazing you see uh it's maria our uh, plane there and it was like a ground ukrainian this one, this red one is really beautiful, but look at this. Look how metal is just uh, distorted, right? There's a mm -hmm. word for it. And this beautiful uh, field, and this is not a part of a rocket, but a shell, I guess. There, there are also some parts mm -hmm. of shells and some small rockets. And this one is amazing. Look at this. as a Russian flag on the head of this demon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's a oh. Ukrainian defender who is, um, yeah, who is with wings, our, like our like angel. Are, it's, yeah. it's so crazy because these are so, they're so beautiful, but they're also so, you know, horrifying at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So you can, you now understand why it wasn't romantic, right? Because it's also horrifying. Mm -hmm. uh, and being there and yeah. seeing this and realizing that this, these things were killing people, and they're meant to kill people. Yeah. This is crazy. Uh, I've paused it for a bit uh, to yeah to, to discuss this with you guys and with you, Yulia. And uh, look at this uh, painting that I've paused at. At it, this is so. This is one one of the like one of the paintings that impressed me the most. This one was awesome. Uh, you see it also, I guess, Yulia. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. Well, it's it's dramatic and tragical, but it still gives a lot of. Uh, well, this is sort yeah. of like you know. I think the one word that I could describe this uh, exhibition is like make love, not war, right? Because yeah. it's kind of like the worst the worst things of humanity are taken and turned into beautiful things, right? But it's such yeah. a like dichotomy and duality here because these are still horrendous, horrendous things, but they have been like they have been given like beauty to them you know yeah like they have been transformed specifically to be yeah. something less scary and less vile and less you know yeah this is why i appreciate this exhibition uh, so much because yeah. it is really symbolic and it's really important to turn something that ugly to something beautiful so let's watch this video until the end A look at this cossack who is smashing the head of uh, a Russian snake, uh, who is actually mm -hmm. like that uh, damn, uh, how do you call this thing, that Georgievska Leta? Oh, the Georgian ribbon, George like the St. George, George's ribbon, sorry, St. George's. Yeah, and on the end of that ribbon, there's a, a burning Kremlin. You, can you see it? A, a, mm -hmm. um, oh, I... Burning Kremlin. I found uh, by accident a Ukrainian candle manufacturer that makes candles, and the wick is a Kremlin. So when you <laughs> light it, it goes on fire, awesome. and it goes and it and it goes down so fast. Yeah, so yeah. I posted it on my Instagram stories, but I, honestly, I found it and I was like, oh my gosh, I really want one, and I feel this like is this awesome. is such a fantastic. You gotta send me the <laughs> link, and maybe if I won't forget, uh, we will. Um, add it to the description of this stream, okay? So, Burning Kremlin and a Z uh, beneath it. Just awesome. Mm -hmm. Look at this uh, rocket and how the metal is uh, devastated. No, not devastated, but deformed. Ben? That's, that's the word. Deformed, yeah. 
Uh, and this one is actually huge. Uh, the camera is not good, giving you the good like angle. Me, the good mm -hmm. angle. I actually have the shitty camera on my phone, and I was filming it on the phone. It's an mm -hmm. old phone, like four, almost four years old. <laughs> so I gotta buy a new one. But it's not the priority. Uh, while this one works. Oh, this one is, uh, is amazing. It's a Russian chain on the neck of Ukrainian who is breaking it. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's all symbolic. I like this one too. Yeah. Let's move forward. Oh, this one made me yeah. laugh a bit. Uh, it's a Vanka, you know, the Ivan, Ivan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it says Umenshani, which is translated like <laughs> smalled down, right? Or how, how can you? Uh, it's descaled or descaled. like scaled down. Scaled, scaled down. down, scaled down. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like very bad with words today too. <laughs> scaled okay. down. We make a perfect <laughs> Ukrainian uh, language couple then today. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, uh, look at this. Look at this metal. It's crazy when you look at these things, especially with your own eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a shell um, that is, yeah, it's actually colored with different flags. There's American flag there too. And this, uh, mm -hmm. actually this wing, guys, you see this wing uh, where Maria is uh, painted. It's a wing of a rocket. So this is um, turned, mm -hmm. uh, yeah turned apart, wing of a rocket, and this uh, shell, amazing uh, Ukrainian style painted. It's not a shell, but mm, a top of a shell. I don't remember the, the word for it. Yulia, do, do you know it? Do you know the word? Uh, sorry, the, I was I was looking at the thing, so I the word for, for what? For this thing, the blue thing, like a cup that is uh, getting screwed on top of the shell. Warhead, Warhead. I think. Yeah, I guess. And they, so it was a beautiful warhead. Look at these two wings of a rocket. Actually, a beautiful painting on it of a crying Ukrainian. And this one was really funny. Look at the cat on another wing. And what it has in its mouth. It's a mouse and it's actually a rat. A Z-rat. Mm. Yeah, I actually pronounced it oh. on the video. And this rocket... Uh, impressed me from the inside. Uh, it mm -hmm. has some some interesting elements, and there's a window in there. Did you see it? And the Motanka uh, pictured on it. Mm -hmm. And for, yeah, I filmed it from the other side too. Uh, every stand, I mean, every rocket stand had a a, a story underneath of it. On the stand, mm -hmm. there there was a photo and a story, and this story says a kid makes a photo of a damaged business center after the morning missile attack july 14 2022 mm -hmm. mcalive look at this the photo itself a, a little kid with a phone yeah yeah so Playing. there's a great exhibition and i really hope it's going to travel around the world you see the hole uh that it was filmed in yeah. uh and I really hope uh, it's going to come to U.S. someday, so people there will be able to see yeah. this too. Uh, and this this one impressed me too. You see, each one has some like a devilish stuff underneath, and there's a an angel or archangel, I don't know. And there's Ukraine. It's a whole story in many of them. Mm -hmm. On many of them, yeah. On many of the rockets uh, these paintings are also stories so yeah guys that, that's it four minutes that uh, i've spent like 20 minutes on showing it to you <laughs> with <laughs> poses and stuff like that but i just wanted to to talk more uh, and to pause them for you to to see it more yeah. detailed so i guess it was needed right um yeah Yulia, what what did you want to say you gotta run no no i, I was i was just uh. The what? Uh, Sorry. I asked. I has. I asked. Uh, I hope you you don't have to run yet. <laughs> I mean, I I had to run six minutes ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's 